Hi, my name is Dr. Richmond Lowe and I'm the fish vet. Today we're catching up with one of the Oscars that previously had hole in the head. So here he is right now, just hiding behind me. So you can see along the lateral line system, uh, all the holes have sort of filled in. Uh, there's still some remnant depression uh, remaining and that will start getting better and better and in time he will heal completely. Here you can see the sort of the pale patches. This is where the lesions were most severe. Uh, basically it's remained white because the pigment hasn't quite migrated uh, back into position uh, after it's healed. Um, so this lack of pigment uh, may either remain so or, or the pigmentation will return. If you recall, we had four fish with hole in the head disease that we were treating. Unfortunately, three of them didn't respond to treatment. We did further testing and we found that they had fish TB, a mycobacterial infection. So we had to humanely euthanize them on welfare grounds. Fish TB, also known as fish tuberculosis, is an incurable disease. So mycobacteriosis in fish is incurable but it's a possibly a manageable disease provided you give them healthy water, healthy food, uh, they're going to go and live for years uh, but as soon as any stress factors hit the mycobacteria is going to break out and cause the fish a lot of harm and suffering so I guess the future for this guy is to if he goes to a good home uh, just make sure that you keep an, an eye on his health and water quality parameters um, and also make sure that um, because of the zoonotic potential for mycobacteria in, in terms of something that humans can catch from the fish um, we need to make sure that our hands do not have any cuts on them uh, whenever we're doing any husbandry type things with a tank and him. We're going to show you how we investigated and found out that the fish had mycobacteria and we'll go into this disease in greater detail. So here we've prepared a blood smear from the tail vein of the Oscar and basically these are the red blood cells. They're supposed to be wall to wall uh, in a normal healthy fish but there's a lot of space here indicating that the fish is anemic. And what does anemia mean? It just means there's less red blood cells either from lack of production or increased loss. And you can see that there's a regenerative anemia. That means the fish is trying to, to build up the number of red blood cells by having a look at the staining. So there are some here that have a bit of a darker blue stain. Uh, means that there are younger red blood cells. So what's responsible for this anemia in the fish? We want to have a look at the, where they produce red blood cells. And here we're looking at the kidney. Quite interestingly, kidney is where our bone marrow originates. Uh, as we're an embryo, but it migrates out to our bone marrow as we get older. Uh, but in the fish, the bone marrow or the hematopoietic cells that produce the red cells, they actually stay within the kidney. So we'll have a closer look at the kidney here. You can see that there are a lot of these renal tubules, which is what they filter the blood with. But in between, the interstitium is actually where they produce the red cells. Uh, but you can see there's not a lot of that in here. There's not all the renal tubules or kidney tubules are closely packed that means there's not a lot of marrow um, in the kidney and the reason for that is that you can see that a lot of these balls that are really pink uh, with a thick rim around it this is called uh, granulomatous in inflammation uh, which is a chronic disease um, and it's causing damage to the kidneys so if we have a look closer at these balls uh, granulomas, we'll see what is it that the host is fighting. So here what we've done is we've applied a Zeal-Nielsen stain uh, to the section and zoomed in on these round balls. Uh, the round balls are created from the macrophages which is a white blood cell that attacks uh, bugs in the fish. Uh, they're normally plump in terrestrial animals uh, but in fish uh, when they attack the bacteria they actually form an onion skin type appearance around trying to wall off the, the bacteria. And this bacteria stains up bright pink and you can see them in the individual strands here. Um, but here is where you've got just masses of them just stacked up on top of each other. That's why they just look like a ball, pink balls in here. We also found the mycobacteria, the granulomas in the back of the eye, in the swim bladder, liver, in the gills and also in the intestine. How this could present clinically is those that are lodged behind the eye could get pop eye 
uh, those are in the swim bladder, could cause buoyancy disorder. Um, and in these cases here, we can also see it in the gills. Um, you can see the epithelium or the skin or the covering. Um, the granuloma is actually exploded and the bacteria can actually excrete, uh, exit into the environment this way. Uh, those that are intestines can actually rupture and excrete through its feces. Those in the kidney can be excreted through the urine. So basically, this Oscar is like a bag of mycobacteria just with fins. So in summary, this fish was just so far gone, it just had no chance of recovering from the hole in the head disease. For now, it's goodbye from me and Oscar. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to get updates of our future videos and have a fantastic week.